the orange one here, and um, we just successfully unlocked doors here to the bunker. And it looks like to me there's some zombies. They must have been fighting something in here. Maybe a turret or something. I mean, it's got like bullets on the floor. That must be what happened. Strange. Okay, well, let's see what we got in here. Um, first of all, I want to look at the guns. <gasps> we got a Scar Heavy, dudes. And an Ithaca 2021. I'm not familiar with that one, but it sounds like a good one. Oh, it's like a little pistol. Pistol grip and a shortened barrel. Uh, 1.5 liters. I think that would fit in that extra large um, leg holster. I think we probably want to pick that up um, as well as the Scar Heavy. I'm pretty sure the nice thing about the Scar Heavy is, at least from what I remember, I'm just going to compare it to our current gun. This and that Scar Heavy. Yeah, it takes the same ammo has actually the same ammo capacity. It's a different magazine, so we're not going to be able to use those magazines. I think we might have a Scar Heavy magazine already. But the really nice thing is, is that this has auto. So if we have a large group of zombies or like a Hulk or something coming for us, I think we could... We're going to want this gun, essentially. It's actually worth less for some reason. I think it's a better gun because it has the auto. Maybe it's less accurate or something. Um, I'm not sure, to be honest. I'm not sure why it's uh, it's valued as less, because it seems better in almost every way, as far as I can tell. Um, we definitely want that, though. And I think, I think because we got our hunting, our hiking backpack, that we'll be able to take all the stuff that we want from here. Oh, look, that's a magazine for our gun that we just um, we're looking at not really bringing with us. Uh, what's this? Is that like a pistol or something? No, it's like a little... This is a pistol. Um... What do you have inside of you? A scar light? I'm just curious what, uh ammo that it have, has in there. Oh look, there's an MRE. Oh, this is a... that machine gun light? What is that? Multi-grenade launcher. Wow. That, um... I don't think we're gonna need to launch multiple grenades. But... I do want the actual grenades themselves, so... The mill core, I'm just gonna drop. We're gonna take the ammo from that. Oh, look, there's a stand egg right there. So we have another uh, thing for our um, our new toy there. Uh, let's just kind of look at everything. The military rounds that we definitely want to pick up. Um, some clean water, we don't need that. Yeah, let's just pick up all the ammo. Is that a yeah, that sounds like a good thing, but I don't think we're ever going to actually use that. I just take that. And let's drop that gun. I'm just taking the bullets, to be honest, from that. Uh, what was that? An M17? I don't remember picking that up. Maybe we were just trying to get the ammo from that or something. I don't know if I want that IDW as well, because I think we already have one of those. There's another Stanig, but this is a drum mag. Oh man, I don't know if we need to... Um, I was thinking... Man, I don't even know what to do with all this stuff. There's so many fire bomblets and stuff. Why is it just taking one? I don't understand. Oh, 
Oh, I think it was because of the smart uh, commands. I was pressing one. I was pressing E and I was selecting the thing. Barrette magazine. Wait, don't we have one of those as our sniper rifle? Uh, this also, that could be nice. That's for a shotgun. So if we wanted to have an extra shotgun. And this has a Stanag magazine in it too. Well, if we wanted to go Stanag crazy, we totally could by the looks of it. I'm not going to carry the Scarlight because we already have one of those. I will take the Stanag magazine though. Man, we got a ton of stuff there. We got so many guns and so many magazines. Yeah, I don't know if you can actually do the belt feed adapter anymore because I thought I looked at, into doing that and it just wasn't letting me um, make it. Oh, there's even autoclave pouch there. Oh my gosh. What a good day for Nosh. This is seriously probably, besides the CVMs, probably one of the best finds that Nosh has had. Like, for real. Um... Let's go back up to the surface. It's been a little while, so I do need to be cautious. Um, it's been a little while since I've been playing this game. My cat's just trying to readjust. The poor thing's gotten injured back, and she's trying to sit on my lap, and things are just not comfortable, I guess. Oh, I, I'm not wielding a weapon. Yeah, just climb it, I guess. Uh... Mostly because I don't want to... I just kind of want to be... Back and dumping these guns. Okay, we're back at entrance here. We left that AMP grenade. Probably should be carrying that with us. To be honest. Three in the morning right now. In game. Okay. Um, is that a zombie? Yeah, that zombie sees us. Go ahead and get the gun out. Um, I'm gonna just try and run out so I'm not gonna mess up my car. And stop running. Just kind of assess. There's probably some zombies around here, so we'll just kind of hang out, let them come to us. Yeah. In the north, I'm hearing crash. Oh, that's it's from the um, from the lab. Something being smashed. Concerning. Um, let's see. Man, Nosh. I like to imagine that he was literally like a kid in a candy store. There, like, I know that's a saying. I like to imagine that Nosh actually was like a kid in the candy store there. Um, I don't want to upgrade the gun situation here. Yeah, we can put the stuff away a little bit. Where is that extra large? Um, can I look for that XL holster? Yeah, I want to put that back on. I'm pretty sure it can hold. No, it can't. Huh, that's weird. What's the maximum? 1.25? Really? Oh, this is 1.5. Alright, I think I might be able to put a folding mag. or uh, folding stock or something. Pistol grip, shortened barrel. I'm not sure if we can saw that off more. If we can, I kind of want to do it. I also feel like it's completely unnecessary for us to have this XL holster, so it's not a big deal. Um, I think what we need to do is get rid of some of the um, scrap or spare parts we've been collecting because there's just a lot of it that we have here 
And we don't really need all of it, you know? So I'm looking really at the volume. Sheet of reinforced glass. Yeah, we don't need that. Um, raw pelt and hide I end up not making into anything, which is silly of me. Let's just go ahead and put all of those down for now because it's just taking up so much volume. I think that that should open up enough identification module. Yes, yeah, drop, drop that uh, felt patch. Oh, that's not really anything. Um, copper wire. That is a lot of copper wire that we don't really need. Same with that. Uh, we'll keep the charcoal. Yeah, I think that we've opened up enough storage capacity now that we should be able to um, put down our stuff that we looted at the very least. Okay, good. Yeah. Put that down. Put the bullets down. And... And I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna hold on to the MRU because I think I actually want to eat that. Um, other things... And... Oh, that's actually... Hold on. We're putting that in our inventory. Well, we don't need to do that. All that down. And with that... I'm actually going to turn off our flashlight. And just read a little bit. Because I would like to know Krav Maga. Louis uninterested in learning Krav Maga. Well, you're no fun, Louis. Maybe I should uh, be in a different location. Stop reading. It seems to me that there's something directly underneath over there. We were not getting access to when we were in the lab. Whatever it is, it's slowing down the processing for the game. So I'm going to just drive a little bit away from there. Mostly because I just kind of want the game to not be processing that. Okay. That's good to me. Maybe turn off the headlights. That should be good. We'll close those. And yeah, let's get some more Kravlaga training. I do think we can do that. And I would like to actually have Nosh know some martial arts. I think because the last time I played this uh, game, the last Let's Play, he was martial arts focused, so I don't really want to do that again. But I do kind of want to play around with it, you know? I think it would be kind of cool to have Nosh just do that as a fun thing, you know? Can you guys hear that? I don't know if you can. I don't think you can. Um, Krav Maga, well, we've learned it. I kind of want to see what this teaches me. I don't even know what it teaches me. And until NPCs can do martial arts, um, I guess that makes sense that they don't let you do that. Let them learn it from the books. But, I mean, don't they spawn knowing some martial arts sometimes? I would really like it if you could get like an army of like Aikido masters to go uh, face against the zombie hordes, you know? Uh, did something just die around us? I think we're just hallucinating. We're literally practicing some martial arts while we're sitting in our seat in our deathmobile uh, holding a gun. <laughs> Okada. Nothing quite is like you. So yeah, I think... I don't know if I want to change out my gun, but I feel like we should change it out for the Scar Heavy. I'm, I've got full health. I might kind of modify the gun in between episodes, because I don't think that y'all need to see me doing all that. Yeah, I think that's probably what we're going to do. I'm probably going to just go back into the lab. Yes. Speaking of which, I think um, 
I'm gonna just stop reading. Yeah. Because this is not... <laughs> not the most entertaining. Okay, we'll put those in the livestock carrier. I believe this got put in there correctly. Good. And we'll drive the car back. Just because... Uh, hold on. I guess we're gonna drive completely blind because our character doesn't know how to open and close their aisle curtain while driving. I hope that zombie's not in our way. Pretty sure we're gonna run over some items too that we put down. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we just hit a zombie. Turn off the aisle lights. Let go of the controls. Hello? Um. What's this right here? Some items. Uh. That's weird. Oh, there's a grabber. Can I run away from the grabber? I should have probably had my night vision on. Whatever. Not a big deal. Uh, let's go ahead and reload. Hold on, what? Yeah, weird. Let's just go ahead and reload that. Or Scar Heavy. Yeah, we don't need that Scar Heavy. If I try and dump this, will it let me? Yes, it will. Okay, good. Um, and I'm going to try putting down the XL holster as well. Yeah, cool. Like I said, we're not really going to be using that shotgun, so it's not a big deal. That smoke that's right there? Weird. Why is that there? Um, I'm confused. They're like a, and there must be a smoker zombie in here, but I don't know which type. I'm very intrigued. I thought we had cleared out zombies from this area. Guess not. I'm gonna close those doors. Because it could be an, in an Ickus or something like that, and um, I don't want to fight that. Oh, there's a, there's a number of zombies around here. Oh, there's a smoker right there. Huh. There's quite a few of them all, all around here. Can I shoot them all? I go to F. Can I get a shot off, please? Yes, I can. Um, how are you doing health-wise? Yeah, I'm just gonna shoot you again. Okay. Oh, there's a smoker here. Can I get the joint servos on? I just kind of want to not... Uh, I want to avoid that. But it's looking like we're not gonna be able to. I get the Jane out, just drop the gun gonna have to. Okay. That one's down. I don't know if there's another zombie right by us or not. We are wearing a hiking backpack, so we are gonna be awful at melee right now. Yeah, the smoke is really annoying. Um, maybe run away. Let's get out of the smoke. It's annoying. Oh, really? There's more of them? Okay, let's just uh, close that then. I'm just gonna collect myself just up here for a minute. Well, if there is an NPC down here, he's not gonna last long. Okay, um, 
Was there another smoker? I don't think there was. Uh, wield the, the gun. That back in there. I, I do like how you can holster guns like that um, in the hiking backpack. Hey, okay, there we go. The nadir is down. Stop running. Hollow. Where's the hollow? Oh, you're all the way down there. Okay. Wasn't there like a snapper or something around here? Yeah. Got a feeling that you're there. But no, you're not. Okay. Oh, there's a hollow there. Gonna run using the joint servos and we should be good. Okay, good. Yeah, not too bad, honestly. Kind of weird, I don't know where those dudes came from. Like, honestly. Where on earth did they come from? Take out that nadir. How are we doing bullet-wise? Yeah, we got half a magazine. And we got another magazine or two in our our uh, leg, right? Oh, we got our nail mag for the nail gun. Okay, um... Did they crawl up through this hole here? West and below, you hear lookout. I think that is... Not an NPC, I think that's a, uh, whatchamacallit, Amigo. It could possibly be a cyborg. That is definitely possible. Um, let's see, let's keep our power up, we'll turn that off, we don't really need that on right now. And then, yeah, I think we already kind of checked this out. This was an, that's not how you spell it. Is it that? I, did, I don't know. Is it with a Y or an I? I feel like since I started becoming, a, since I was became a teacher, my spelling's gone like noticeably worse. And I find myself second guessing everything because I see it the wrong way to, to spell it so often, like honestly. Kind of insane. How bad. Uh like especially my six gears or spelling is. And then I'm like, wait, is it that? Oh no. What is what is up? What is down? You know? Oh yeah, the gasoline zombie, I do remember that. Um Did I end up going down? Yes, there is Amigo. I suspected as much. Thought it might be a person, but nope. Amigo. So this is like a containment thing, right? And of course the containment cells have holes in the ground. Well, that would explain why this place is overrun with all kinds of interesting enemies, huh? Is that... Um... Electrofluoresis tray. Oh, for like gels? Yeah, dude. I remember doing that in college. That was actually a really cool lab. I liked doing gel electrofluoresis. It's like a pretty simple thing, too. Like, a middle schooler can understand it and could even do it, but it's such a useful tool. Um, hold up. Hold up. Uh, can I run so that I'm not in that thing's vision? Hostile detect. That thing almost shot me. I almost got killed there. I'm just gonna wait a little bit so that it doesn't detect me, and then I'm gonna run over to the side here. Um. Yeah, that was super close. Like, 
That could have been game over right there. Without our medical mutagen. We want to be careful. Okay, now my cat's just twitching from dreaming. That's not your, um... That's not your back bothering you there. Honey. Kind of weird how people... I mean, I totally do it, so I'm not judging anyone. Kind of weird how people say things like that. They're pets, like honey. You know? <laughs> or baby. I, I do baby a lot with her. What do you guys call your pets? Is that like sewage water? What is that? It's, it is sewage. Oh god. That's gross. You gotta make me wade through sewage. Now I know that Nosh is an interesting character, but that... That's just bizarre. Um, where's that zombie? Hollow? Yeah, you can come to me. Oh, it wasn't letting me target him because we didn't have a clear line of sight. That's interesting. I am taking this at a slower pace than normal now. Oh, is this guy gonna have the elf A? I think this is the elf A one. Mechanical whirling, that means something's about to get shot, right? Yeah, elf A. So if we wanted to make an elf, we could do that. I feel like Nosh wants to... Like, the next NPC I get, I think he's gonna turn into a, a cow person. And name Bessie. Like, rename them Bessie. Even if they're male. You can give them a... Not lined up name. I think Nosh would enjoy that. I mean, I would never do that myself in real life because I want to be, you know, not awful and mean and, like, make a joke about someone who's transgender. But I feel like Nosh would. You know what I mean? Like, Nosh is not a politically cor uh, correct person. Although I am. Okay, there's something down there. Probably quite a few somethings by the sound of it. And by the looks of it, they may have actually gone through here already. This is another containment area. It does look like the zombies are, for the most part, contained, though. Okay, we're gonna just kill that, though. Yeah, zombie wrestler... I don't think you're strong enough to break through that glass. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure you're not. There's a glass jar there. There's something on the other side of this. I just need to make sure it's not a, a turret or something. Pretty sure it's a zombie. But I don't like not having a line of sight on it from a door. Uh, it's got some open doors over here. Have I been through here? Or are they just open? I think they're just open. Okay. Oh, troglobite serum. I think I'm going to pick that up because that could be really useful for us. I, I've been thinking... Um, like, here's my goal, is to have Nosh be a medical mutant, but have some alpha mutagen used on him. And if I do that, then we're going to need to be careful um, with getting the deterioration mutation. And if we do that, I think we'll get uh, the cave dwelling, um, whatchamacallit, the, the troglobite. They have, like, regenerative mutations, which are really good. Pretty sure all of this is looted, for the most part. And we're getting near half an hour. Oh, look, CBMs. What do we have here? Cable charger. That's, like, not a particularly great one. And the other one's empty. Bummer. That's seriously a huge letdown, the CBMs there. 
Could have been, could have been some good stuff. Um, those. Gonna make a little note there. Oh, look, a little BB gun. How cute. Um, how are we doing here? Oh, let's look. It's a little portal there. So we could step on that, get teleported anywhere. Not gonna do that because that could teleport me next to that turret. Okay, there's something down there. Looks like a smoker, but it could be something that could burn us. Oh, look, a nurse bot. Oh, this is probably a place that has some cyborgs in it then. Um, I have heard that you can make cyborgs friendly to you. So, we might have some new friends. The nurse bot does make me a little nervous though. Uh, do we have any CBMs just laying about? No, no CBMs just laying about. But if we go in here, yep, prototype cyborg. Just hold still. Um, yeah, they're trying to kill me. Oh, look, that one looks a little bit like a. They look a little different. They're actually, super cool. I like their tile sets. Um, the CB. Um, Auto dock and cyborgs. Yeah, I'm gonna need to look into how you can. I think you can kill them and then put them on the auto dock and remove the, the faulty parts, or you can make them passive and do it. I'm not really sure how it works. But I think you need the control laptop. In any case, we'll, we'll look into that more next episode. Uh, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.